What's up guys, this is Jesse, and today I'm gonna show you the absolute cheapest way to set up a face cam for game streaming, complete with a green screen. This entire project cost me $1.75, and the rest of the materials you probably already have. So stick around. Okay, first things first. For this setup, we're going to assume that you have an Android smartphone, preferably a Samsung, but if not, any Android smartphone will work just fine. And we're going to assume that you have a computer, hopefully a Windows computer. So if you have a Samsung, you can download SideSync, which allows you to mirror your phone's screen on your computer. If you don't have a Samsung, you can use Droid Cam to display your phone's camera on your computer. Next, you'll need OBS, which is a great free video recording asset that many YouTubers and Twitch streamers use. As for the green screen, I bought some green fabric from a thrift store for $1.75. And I got a big old piece of cardboard from a grocery store and glued the fabric to the back of it. Next, we need to hop on the computer. If you don't have a Samsung device, head to dev47apps.com and download the client and the app on your phone. If you do have a Samsung, it's as simple as downloading Samsung's PC client from their website. Lastly, go to obsproject.com and download OBS Studio. Once you have everything downloaded and set up, I recommend finding a way to prop your cardboard green screen behind where you'll be sitting. Like so. Now it's time to open OBS Studio in the camera program of your choice. Why am I upside down? We'll fix that in a second. First go to OBS, and add sources. Our first source is going to be considered a game capture, but we're going to name it Side Sync. You can choose to capture a specific window, and we're capturing my phone, which is named Jesse. So now it's gonna show up over here on the OBS window. So to fix it being upside down, we're gonna right click, transform, and rotate 180 degrees. And we'll hide this guy. It won't let me hide it. Can I minimize it? Yes. Next, we need to right click, click transform again, and edit transform. So from here on, we can crop the sides. That looks about right. Next we need to right click and select filters. Add filter, chroma key, and it defaults to green, but you can use blue, magenta, or a custom color. Now this part may take some fine tuning. You remove too much and you start to disappear. That's good enough. And now there's a little Jesse with no background. Now we're going to choose another game capture, which is going to be any full screen application. And now we're gonna load up a game.
Double Dragon Neon. From here you have to make sure that your camera is above the game that you're playing. So move up, and there I am. How's it going today guys? This is Jesse and I'm going to be playing some Double Dragon Neon. If you want more in-depth instructions on this process, or if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.